Hey, this is your boy Yongi. I am a first year medical student at the University of Melbourne and I'm currently at Shepparton campus and next year I will be in Wangaratta. So, what I want to talk to you guys about today are three major things. But before I get to them, I just want to say thank you so much for all of you that have subscribed to my YouTube channel and for those of you who keep um, watching those videos, I'm really grateful for that. So thank you. So what I want to talk about are the experience that I had at University of Melbourne Open Day. I went there on Sunday and I had like really good time talking about things that I love. The second thing that I want to talk to you about are the clinical skills that we're covering thus far. So this month we covered one of the clinical skills which was based on diabetes, especially type 2 diabetes. And I will quickly touch on that and what that meant for me. The third one that I want to talk to you guys about is something that will resonate with most of you that are actually watching this video today. Most of you that got offers for interviews to get into medicine next year, congratulations and I'm really happy for you guys. It is such a great news and I will talk to you more about um, why I haven't replied to everybody messages and I try to reply to as many messages as I can and then Without further ado, let's get on to it. So on Sunday, um, that was University of Melbourne Open Day. So we went to the University of Melbourne and I got this shirt and then we we basically just talked to a lot of students. It was a great atmosphere, amazing vibe. You go into the university and then you just feel like super excited. It's such a great environment. Like everybody's like really super busy, but a lot of smart kids, they know what they want. And we had a lot of year 11 and year 12 with their parent. They came and they asked him questions about medicines. And it was like one of the best days because I really can never shut up talking about medicine. I'm really passionate about medicine. I'm passionate about healthcare, and I like talking to people and share my journey and also answer their questions. So it was well structured. There's a lot of things that you um, ask people that are really super skills, and you get a lot of answers. So for me, it was mainly three major things that I took away from that. So how people are interested in studying medicines and also how people are keen to find out about what it is like studying medicine in rural areas. So that was really amazing for me. And most of the young people that I spoke to, it wasn't more of that they're interested in medicine because their parents want them to do medicine. It was because they're actually curious about healthcare. They really want to make a difference within that field, which is really refreshing to hear. So I spent most of the time talking to a lot of young people. And the second thing that I really did like about the day is I had an opportunity to run into some of my colleagues that we've been having classes on Zoom, but we never actually get to meet face to face because some of the class that we have, for example, discovering medicine, I normally run online and some of my colleagues that I haven't met, so I had an opportunity to actually meet them and then we had a chat. They third thing that I really did enjoy was the interest that most of the parents and young people have, um, especially those who are around the Shepparton area. They had a lot of questions about what it is like studying medicine in Shepparton and seeing they live not far away from Shepparton, it would be really exciting and what that would feel like for them. So that's something that was really exciting and I did really enjoy um, having those specific and direct questions. One thing though that I would wish would have been different earlier was making it clear for the public. So um, on the day, a lot of people were confused initially. They want to know what what rural health was because we had on our foster under the banner of rural health rather than having like rural medicine. A lot of people when they found out it was rural medicine and they're like, oh yeah, this is actually cool. They also need to know what was the difference with the University of Melbourne if you're studying, if you're studying rurally to Monash University because Monash University have undergrad, but 
Unimail have like Postgrad. So we're talking to them about like the direct role pathway where they can actually do an undergrad in biomedicines in Bendigo, Lateral University, in conjunction with the University of Melbourne, and they have to maintain a certain worm. And one they have successful fast that um, one they have successful complete the biomedical degree, they can get into University of Melbourne um, postgraduate medicine straight away. So that was really exciting for a lot of young people to find out and they're like, yes, we can study medicine in a rural area. So that was really amazing. The second thing that I want to talk about is my learning while at the hospital. The clinical skill we learned this month was um, diabetes, especially how to do diabetes examinations and how to monitor patients with diabetes, especially type 2 diabetes. This was really, really crucial, it's similar to a lot of other clinical skills that we learned, but this was a little bit different for me. The reason for that is we had to actually have an understanding of how the burden of disease impact patients, especially type 2 diabetes is a lifestyle condition, but it have like overwhelming burden on patients. This was really exciting clinical case for me and it wasn't just for the fact that we were learning about the mechanism of the diseases, the pathophysiology and the management of the disease, but we were looking at the whole thing, looking at people that are actually impacted by type 2 diabetes and how they actually manage the disease and how they live with the disease because the burden of the disease is something that is really significant and as doctors in the future we need to be aware in terms of how we treat patients holistically and also look at what is happening um, within the environment. So we did not only just go into the hospital and learn about how to do diabetes examination, things such as looking at the food care, the eye care, and all those sort of things that normally come as a complication of type 2 diabetes. So those things are more straightforward. You can learn about it. doing examinations, go into gig medicine and look at how examination is done and finish the examination. But our demonstrators took it a little bit further and they actually, God has to not only talk to the patient and do the examination, they also God has to they also God has to do testing on ourselves to test our blood sugar levels. And when you're doing like a finger prick test, they taught us how to do that and the significance of that and how painful it is. So that's has just doing it only one single day. Now we have to think what happened with those patients who do it every day and that is their life and not only that they have to like watch what they eat they have to look at other things and i think that was really really powerful way of teaching as medical students getting this kind of teaching earlier it actually opened our eyes and said like, okay what do we need to do for not only type 2 diabetes patients but all our patients that are chronically ill and i think that made an impact on me um, this week so I had an incredible two weeks and I am excited to share that with you guys. So thanks for listening in. But before I finish, I want to say a massive congratulations to all those amazing and hardworking people that just got offers for medical school interviews. So you will do great. Make sure you get time to rest reach out to all people that can help you to practice as many interviews practice as you can make sure you get a lot of good sleep as well and eat well and you will do great unfortunately i'm not able to answer all your questions because i'm grinding for exams we have our exam on monday and wednesday so after wednesday i will be able to help so i got three of my other colleagues to come and do a live youtube video on Wednesday, so that will be at 12 p.m. on the 7th of September. So I have with me Luke, he did paramedicine before he studied medicines. I have Kira, she was a nurse before joining medicine. And I have Tim who did biomed before getting into medicine and myself I did pharmacy. So if you have any questions about how to prepare, how to get ready, 
we will see you then and feel free to message me or write some questions but for now look after yourself and two kids